What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? How you doing? Mr. Warmack here, Swagger, 3.0 Reloaded as always, and you know, when you see this face, you know what I do, so I'm going to get cracking. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, campaign funding. It's, it's, it's a... Kind of a, not really a, 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 a spiffy, nice topic to talk about, but uh, I'm going to talk about how the DNC and the GOP are, are different odds with, as far as campaign spending. Let me, hold on, let me do this real quick. There we go. And how they're at different odds, campaign spending. Now, the the DNC feels that you should do, like, like there, I guess there's a rule of unlimited campaign financing, but the DNC wants to make an amendment, a proposal, propose an amendment to curb political spending. Now, there's two trains of thought to the DNC and the GOP. The DNC wants to, you know, limit contributions, saying that, like, like, it's like, they're saying the money leads to corruption. That's what they sort of saying. But, uh, the thing of it is that feeling, you know, if, if you got unlimited funding, it's not it's not so and so's fault that they can afford to do this, and it's not my fault that I can't afford to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you have an if you have unlimited funds, there are people there who are wild enough and crazy enough to spend their money where they want to, and I, I can't fault them for that. That's their that's their that's their dinero. That's their bread. That's their scratch. That's their sprilla. So I can't fall for that. Now the GOP has has a mentality of where you know if you, if you eliminate that, you're eliminating American rights in the political process. Now I'm not going that far as far as saying you're eliminating somebody's right. You know, I never knew the right to give money was one of the essential rights in the Constitution, but. I can see where GOP stand. I can see where both parties stand. Cause like I said, it is true that power and money do corrupt. And if I have like a, a zillion dollars to buy, give to a campaign, they're expected to, to work on my behalf. And they have a, they have, a, I mean, they won't admit this. They have a fiduciary responsibility to me because I'm not giving you these billions of dollars for your campaign just for you to sell your ass and give a name vote. If I say jump, you're expected to jump a little. You know what I mean? So, it seems like another rally cry that to me is what it is. Not like it seems they're doing this now. What it is is both parties are using a rally cry because I'll explain the situation here in Columbus what happened. In Columbus, I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I've been living here for like the last 10, 11 years. And in Columbus, we had a referendum on a levy for the Columbus Zoo, internationally known zoo. You may have seen Don David Letterman, Jack Hanna. He's just as flighty in real life. Well, Jack Hanna came to the public saying, you know, hey, I, we need this and this, that, and the fifth. Well, if you ask everybody who, look, even myself, I thought it was, you know, it's the zoo, it's going to be a foregone collusion, people are going to vote for it. Well, guess what happened? The Koch brothers through there, I don't know for sure, but well, it, was, it wasn't them personally, it's through one of their packs. When their packs came and the way they did their campaign was kind of sweet. What they did was they said, you know, this is another tax on the people that we really needed with like unemployment is high, this and that. We need another levy or tax. What that was, everybody who thought everybody thought it was a foregone collusion that the, you know we were gonna get it. But in the county, maybe both counties, like Columbus is like one of the cities in America that's they're like 85 fucking counties, I don't know why. But uh, we vote, like I voted personally for the levy because you know, even though I don't go to the zoo, the zoo is an educational tool, so I voted for it. Even though my taxes would probably go up. But come to find out, like I said, everybody thought, even even the guy who, uh, Jack Cannon, the face of the zoo, thought it was a done deal. But what happened was, he lost, and they interviewed him this was the, uh, I, hate to, I hate to use this language, and I hate to sound mean, but this was one of the fucking funniest things you would ever see. Because the guy knew he was going, you never know, you ever, you ever see, what's the quote? 
the feet snatched from the jaws of victory. You know, it'd be one of those speeches where you just be like, what happened? This is what happened to him. He gave one of the, like, he was on TV talking about, well, he was shaking his head and he, he was looked real confused when I did an interview because he, he thought, like I said, like myself and others thought it was a done deal going to get slumped in. But the, the Koch brothers had their GOP, I mean, their PAC come in and, they're, and they just boom, boom, boom with the vid, with the commercials. Like, do we need this? Do we need this? And and, 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 and I, I just looked for it because I felt it was an educational tool. But there's people here who start thinking about it. I'm like, hey, do we really need this? You know, we need roads paved. There's bigger issues right now than this Bobo the, Bobo the elephant, you know, could have a bigger mansion to live in. So that's one of the things why they're trying to curb stuff, stuff, absence such as that happening, where if you feel like you just throw a bunch of money at the problem, the problem's going to go away. In America, it usually does. It's, so we're going to stay on top of this, but me personally, I think it's just a rally cry on both sides to get everybody out and vote. The Democrats are going to use their fear mongering, and the Republicans are going to say that they're trying to take your rights. So it's all depends on, like I said, if you got it, give it. If you don't, don't. I mean, it's your money. Use it wisely. If you feel you have to pay bills, pay bills. Let's wish the government work like that. Come out. Peace.